Welcome back. Quick look today at the Salcar 2.5 inch external hard drive enclosure. I also have the case that you can buy from the same company as well. So we'll take a look at the included instructions first. Very straightforward and simple. Just lists out the specs and the ports. This is a very easy enclosure to fit and use. That's the idea. You can take it out and replace the drive. Here's some of the technical data and it shows you um, the locking mechanism to open and close it. Moving on to this section about removing the drive safely from the computer. You should always try and do this if possible to minimise the chance of any data loss. Now I've laid the items out on the table here. You can see here we're starting with the padded case. Now that's the Salcar branded ones just like the hard drive but I've seen the drive enclosures in many different brands and they are pretty much identical so I'll put a link to a few at the end of the video in the comments section. Onto the enclosure, matte finish top and bottom, glossy size and you'll see the lock on the rear next to the micro USB 3 port. No pads on the underside, not something that particularly bothers me. You can see we have the LED indicator on the top. Once you've um, turned the locking latch off, you can then pull the drive out. You'll see the front section comes off. And there's not much to see there apart from the back of the LED. You'll see that there's a sort of felt lining inside and that is including on the top of the enclosure as well. There is a foam extra pad that you get that you can stick on. I've kind of lost those. Um, I never use them myself. I don't find that the drives, even the slimmer ones, rattle around. They're quite a secure fit. I've never had any problems, so I don't use the stick-on um, foam pad. Putting the drive back in, just push the front in and then just flip the switch. Prevents it coming out by accident. Now the standard cable that you get is about 20 centimeters long and you'll see the tip. The micro USB 3 is a wider tip than the 2 but then you get the additional speeds up to around about 300 megabytes a second read and write maximum speed that I've had off of the USB 3. And then you get the LED indicator light that glows and flashes during activity. This is just to compare to a similar drive. This is from Aventec. This has the same mechanism which prevents it from opening by accident until you flip the switch. It's pretty much identical apart from the fact that you have the LED indicator on the back and you have an aluminium top plate for heat dissipation. I've personally not had any issues with heat. The SSDs and uh, hard drives can sometimes get warm but only if you're benching them onto the case. This is quite a nice small case. You have a tab there with the maker's name and a wrist strap. It has a wipe clean, uh, glossy exterior. Some of the ones that I've looked at have a cloth exterior. And you have one section where you can put cables or other items in there, perhaps memory cards or something like that. And you have the main section for the drive with the elastic part there, which prevents it from coming out by accident so if you accidentally open it or tilt it over it won't fall out. Now I've never had any problems with these uh, hard drive enclosures and the case is quite a nice little extra to have particularly if you're traveling it gives it a bit of extra protection. Quite happy with these enclosures I've never had any issues with any of them at all and they're a pretty good price too so I can certainly recommend them. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel where I'll be doing more reviews on products like this and different tech items as well.